Today I brought some eggs to work as a snack. Trying to eat more protein, it explains unnecessarily in the question. Sadly, I forgot to eat them. Now they're in my lunchbox in my backpack, and I'm pretty hungry. I need to go to the mall after work to run some errands. Where in the mall should I eat my eggs? And what would be the best way to eat them without seeming weird? They are boiled and still in the shell. I'll be taking the bus to the mall. Should I eat them on the bus? This is from a peckish in uh, Penang, Malaysia, which may be a first for us. I don't know. I just want to compare the two locations, just broad locations right off the bat, because it occurs to me the benefit of eating them on the bus, right? That is a, a defined shortened time, hmm. right, of exposure of people judging you for eating the eggs. Now right. it is contained. So everyone on the bus is gonna clock it, but it will be done quickly because then you'll get off the bus. In the mall, people are moving through, right? They may not notice that you're eating eggs, right? But then every time they see you for the rest of the time at the mall, they're gonna be like, that's that person that ate eggs on that bench. Would you rather have concentrated focus on your egg eating or kind of a more flowy, ethereal focus sure, on your sure, egg sure. eating? If I could sort of take Travis's quandary here and maybe recontextualize it a little bit, you have to rip a big two and a half minute long fart. Oh God. <laughs> Would you rather do that on a bus I'm gonna look right at the camera so you so you are actually thinking, would you rather do that big fart on a bus or in a very large building where people might not even be able to see you? People probably aren't seeing you. If people see you, they will probably look away politely as quickly as possible. Here's the amount of air that's on the bus. Just a bus worth, pretty much. That's a one bus worth of egg-free air. And then you're gonna sort of spoil all that versus a mall is so big you can egg up that air as much as you possibly can, and you're not going to make a pretty big difference. What I'm saying, though, and I understand, Griffin, in a mall, people go there for people watching. They're clocking people left and right. On a bus, that's kind of a, like, time out, like, everyone's heads down on their own phones. They're not clocking people. They're specifically trying to pretend like they are, like, separate right. from everybody. I'm saying <sighs> the bus is a transient, like, universe that doesn't, it's like when you're on a plane, right? There's there's different rules. Justin, no, you but people help have me done things here. on planes. People have done many things on planes that I wish they wouldn't do. Well, yeah, but you accept that it happens because I accept that a lot of things happen that I wish people wouldn't do. That's different. We can't just say like carte blanche. These people are all strangers. It doesn't matter how they see you. The whole thing crumble. You can't take that society. out. Society, the whole thing society. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Of course, we you're listening to this podcast or are recording it. You are obsessed with what strangers think of you. It's fine. Now, I will say, because I, I do think Griffin's right, because... Of course I'm fucking right. You can't eat... I just said you were. Don't yell at me. If I saw someone eating on a bench, uh, like, sitting on a bench, eating some hard-boiled eggs with the most serene, like, just like, I'm happy to be here, I would think, the thought that would pop in my head is, they've got it all figured out. Right? Just like look at them. Happy there, just sitting, eating their eggs, peaceful. Any thought you have when you see a person eating an egg in public that isn't, I should move away, <laughs> is wrong, is a wrong thought. And on a bus, you can't. I don't move live away. my life, in, I guess, in the heightened form of judgment that you do, Griffin. If the person's happy, unless I'm deathly allergic to eggs where one being even present and it's something as big as a mall will kill me, it doesn't affect me one iota. Jason Manzuka's just sat up like, yes, but. What if you are deathly allergic to eggs? That's true. Jason Manzoukas is deathly allergic to eggs. So if you see Jason Manzoukas in the mall, you keep those in your pocket where they belong. I don't think I would broadcast my weaknesses as, as much as he has because <laughs> I do not know that man. <laughs> I should not know his kryptonite.